Hey friends, it's Gubba over at the Gubba Homestead and today I have such an exciting video. If you can't see behind me, my Harvest Right freeze dryer finally arrived and I am so excited. So I am going to be doing an official unboxing with you, going through all the items that you receive with your freeze dryer and discussing what to expect when you receive your freeze dryer. Before we get into that, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss another adventure and soon to be freeze dryer adventures. I ordered my freeze dryer about a month ago. It's a medium size Harvest Ride freeze dryer and it was expected to take about eight weeks to arrive because they're so back ordered but I received mine within about six weeks so I'm extremely excited about that and when they ship it out they send you an email discussing what to what to do when you receive your shipment so the harvest right freeze dryer comes in a big box on top of a palette and then on top of the freeze dryer is another box that has all the accessories and it's all tied down and in this email from harvest right they tell you that the shipping carrier is going to call and schedule a delivery date with you so you need to be home because super important you need to inspect your freeze dryer for any damage. So the delivery person arrives, they bring you your freeze dryer, you ask them, hey, can I inspect this really quickly? Just to make sure that there is no damage. The person who delivered mine was super great. They even helped me look and see if there's anything wrong with it. And you just cut the ties on top. You take off the box that's on top of the freeze dryer and then you slip the big box off of the freeze dryer, inspect it, make sure there's no dents, you're good to go. You accept delivery, then my next tip for when you are receiving your freeze dryer is you need to you need to think ahead of time of where you're going to put it. I did not do that. The freeze dryer arrived before I really thought about where I was going to put it and I rushed and got this super cool Husky toolbox. You can put it on I believe a wood table. I read some reviews that people didn't want to put it on just straight metal tables because over time the heat from the pump and the freeze dryer warped it. But I see a lot of people using carts, so they're probably okay. I also saw quite a few people using this Husky toolbox and I really liked the look of it. And it has wheels so I can just wheel it around whenever I need to. And it has a ton of drawers that I can put all my supplies in. So think about that before your Harvest Right freeze dryer arrives. Okay, should we do the unboxing? So right now with the Harvest Right freeze dryers, it's standard to get the Premier pump. There's also an option to get an oil, an oilless pump. And I was really considering that because it would be an investment. I won't have to deal with the oil and it won't be as loud. But upon further research, I discovered that the oilless pump from Harvest Right has to be sent in for maintenance and you have to pay to send in this big pump for maintenance and the maintenance can uh, get a little costly for shipping expenses. I'd rather just have the Premier pump which according to the reviews isn't super loud. There isn't a huge difference between this and the oilless pump. You just have to use oil in the Premier pump. So I'm going to open this up and let's check it out. So this is the Harvest Right Premier pump. Pretty nice. It also comes with enough oil for one fill. Here's the oil that it comes with. It's recommended to use the Harvest Right vacuum pump oil, like their brand, because this oil is made using a unique process and can maintain proper viscosity during normal operation and temperatures. And it's also helpful for cold starts. And if you can't use the Harvest Right oil, uh, there's other brands like Robinair Premier High Vacuum Pump Oil or JB Industries Black Gold Vacuum Pump Oil. It says to not use Dairyland Oil 
So I will not be doing that. I will probably just get the Harvest Right oil. And when I pour the oil in, you want the oil to be between the minimum and max. So that's cool that there's a little window that it shows you and you can keep track of the oil. The oil comes out down there, right there. That's where the oil will come out. Also, you can keep using the oil as long as it's clean and clear. So it's suggested like 20 to 30 batches and then you refresh it. Again, I researched this versus the oilless pump and I found again that the oilless pump has to be sent in every couple of years <laughs> for maintenance that costs a couple of hundred dollars. That didn't sound ideal to me, so I am really looking forward to using this pump and changing out the oil really doesn't seem like that big of a deal to me. So this is my box of goodies. Uh, all the accessories that come with the Harvest Right freeze dryer, so let's check it out. <laughs> this box is huge! Alright. So, I got my Harvest Right oxygen absorbers, and these are used in my Mylar bags. You can also use them in jars. Super excited. And these just come with your Harvest Right freeze dryer. So these weren't even like extras that I added on. These just come with them. These are the Mylar bags, the Harvest Right Mylar bags, which I love because they have the, the contents, the date, and the bags are pretty cute. So I'm really excited for these. The manuals, the trays. These are pretty hefty. So these are the four trays that are gonna go inside my freeze dryer. The plug-in and the connector to the pump. More high vacuum pump oil, so I got some more oil. We also got a Harvest Right oil filter, so that's cool. And then, I feel like a kid on Christmas, but we also got an impulse sealer, so this is what seals your Mylar bags, and um, that's really stinking cool. On the right side of your freeze dryer is the connector that connects to your oil pump right here through this hose, this big hose right there. So on the left side of your freeze dryer is your drain valve. I kind of had to finagle mine out of this hole. You'll want to take off the plastic. This means it's open and that means it's closed. So I'll open it. Also, don't be alarmed if there's any moisture that comes out here because they do factory tests and there might be a little residue left over. So you wanna finagle this out of here. On the back of your freeze dryer is the on and off switch and the plug-in where you will plug in your oil, your oil pump, and then the power plug-in right there so that is the unboxing and all the goodies that you'll get with your Harvest Right freeze dryer. I'm so stinking excited. I'm gonna be setting it up and then I'll do my first run, which will be a bread run, and the bread takes out like any funky smells and all that sort of thing. So that's the first thing that you do when you get your freeze dryer, and I will definitely make a video when I do that. I'm planning to do it next week. Oh, I have so much frozen fruit that I need to freeze dry. I cannot wait and then test all the goodies out with you guys and really just like learn how to do this. I'll go read the user manuals so you don't have to and I'll fill you in. So thank you so much for joining me. Let me know what you want to see me freeze dry also down in the comments. Thank you so much for spending time with me and thank you for just being amazing. You guys are the best. Don't do anything you have one to do. Bye.